Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, just Tiffany B, and I'm back with another video. And as you could tell by the title, we're here to talk about a beautiful palette. <laughs> you guys, I've been talking about this palette for forever. <laughs> like legit before it came out, as soon as I saw the palette, I was like, yes, I need it in my life. It looks so versatile. Like this is the only palette you need in life. Now, one quick thing I can say, for the first time me trying this out and I had a specific look in mind, I, through social media, I thought some colors were gonna be certain shades and it's not so. I don't know if like the cameras were overexposed or if it was brightened or lightened, whatever. I thought like there was like, I, like for example, I thought there were like a true mustard yellow, like a bright yellow. No, no. But you'll see. Let's just go ahead and jump into me throwing on this eye look. It still came out good. I just had a different idea for it, but you know, it's, it's still... Still pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this eye look, shall we? Now, jumping into this eye look, of course, I'm using the MAC 24 hour eyeshadow primer because I always use that primer, so I won't be changing up anything of that today. So, I'm just blending the light brown all over the eyes to set the consume to set the primer. There we go. <laughs> um, after I do that. I went in with this burnt red orange shade and I focused that in my transition area. I wanted that to be like a smoky orange reddish look. And you guys, right off the bat, these shades, these matte shades are nothing to be played with. Go in with a slight hand or you're going to look like you got punched in the eyes. That, that, that's how you're going to look. Um, anyways, um... After that, I went in with this muted red brick shade color and I blended that in to the red and it started giving me different hues. So, you know, it was just coming all together. It was coming all together. I like that shade a lot. All right, so same thing with the last shade. I'm taking this purple and I'm focusing that in my inner V corner. Just blending that in. And here comes the disappointment. All right, so I'm taking this mustard shade and I'm putting this all over the lid. You guys, this color seemed to fail flat and this was supposed to be the focal color of this whole look. This was supposed to tie everything together. And um, the mustard shade was was flat. It wasn't that pop of color that I needed. So this is me trying to apply, apply, apply to like get some sort of yellow to get on my lids. I think this is like my third or fifth coat by this time. So I gave up and I used this gold shade to focus on top of the mustard and also to put in my tear duct. This is what gave it color to brighten up that matte. This is what made the eye look pop for me. I feel like the gold tied it all together. So I believe I applied about like three to four coats of this shimmer color just to make it pop to make up for that matte shade. And here I'm just blending everything all together. So it's blend seamlessly. Everything fade into one color. You know what I mean? You don't want to see where the color stops or end. You just want to blend it all together. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and I took a break from the eyeshadows and I focused on my face because my eyes were getting a little irritated. So um, when I jumped back in, I just wanted to brighten up that yellow shade on the top of my lid. So I just put that in there. And then afterwards, we went to focus on this bottom layer. You know, it's looking a little bit too plain. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted the bottom layer to be blue. Blue, 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 blue. But this shade that I wanted with first, it came off like a very emerald greenish shade. So I'm like, damn, what are we going to do? So I went in with the shimmery blue that's right next to it and blended it right next to the yellow. Uh, I mean, that's blue and everything, but it wasn't coming off the way I wanted it to, so... 
I took the dark blue and I put it towards the end so I get an ombre of blue, if you may say. So after I did that, I just took the purple. I'm like, you know what? It already looked like a rainbow. Let me just add the purple in there. You know, throwing a little purple at the end. <laughs> Bam, got your rainbow. <laughs> But yeah, th that is how I got my look and what I did is um, I went in with a thin Eyeliner because you know me eyeliner. We don't mix so. very thin eyeliner. I put the lashes on top of it And yeah, this is how I got my shadow look you guys the mattes are way more is way more popping than the shimmery shade I'm not saying the shimmery shades ain't ain't the ish. They still good. Well, I'm just saying these matte shades blend like butter. Like you touch it with your brush, not even your hand, you touch it with your brush and the brush is like ready to go. Like, come here, let me put this on your eye. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really love the formulation and I love the pigmentation of the mattes. Now the shimmers, some colors are more pigmented than others. So for example, this, um, what's on my tear duct, very pigmented but the blue eyeshadow the shimmery blue that I put underneath my eye isn't as shimmery as that gold shade so for example you know what I mean but I can say all the matte shades that I used today had the same consistency they were creamy they were buttery buttery and they were pigmented so I'm very excited to dip back into this palette because there's a million and one looks I could come up with this one thing I can say about this palette um messing with the formula I understand why it's $38 like with the packaging and all because I have a Morphe palette and I'm not I wasn't a fan of the plastic I kind of do like the cardboard more better it feels way more you know you know you know way more professional or something anyway <clears throat> anyways um I don't mind the white shade because it's so different from all the other palettes that I have well except the Kylie palette I like the white you know what I mean anyways <laughs> one thing I forgot to do that I really wanted to do I saw C key put this gold shade as her highlighter and it came out so beautiful ask me why I forgot to do that because I honestly forgot to do that you could use these shimmer shades as highlighters because I seen it done before I was gonna do it too but I forgot maybe in the next look <laughs> um but i'm very happy that i got my hands on this it looks so beautiful nonetheless the only other thing is you guys i lost the sheet with the names in a quick second like i opened the box and whoosh, the paper was missing like i don't even know where the paper is anymore and what made me so mad that i lost that paper because she told me on her snapchat she said like every single name or was it her YouTube whichever somewhere she told us that every single shade has a meaning to the name and if those names were so meaningful why couldn't y'all please <laughs> start putting the names right here not even on the back though because I have to like flip the palette around and really think which shade is what color so I don't even like that just put just put the name right here you know just right underneath the shade right? The name right here so when i that's why i even stopped like describing what i was putting on my eyes because i had to start describing the shades i'm like you know what you guys watch you guys can figure out which which color this is and which color that is you know what i mean like jacqueline i don't know these names i'm sorry <laughs> but anyways other than that i really like these colors you guys and let me just show you real quick let me just show you a few, a few swatches. This beautiful gold shade, don't know the name to it because I lost the paper. All right, we could go in with this moonstone champagne looking color. Um, let's do this smoky brown shimmery shade. All right, so I have these three shimmer shades on my hands. And let me go ahead and swatch them for you. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, those are the shades right there. And let's just go in and swatch some matte shades, shall we? All right, black, come through. There we go, emerald shade. Why does it look blue on camera? I don't know. I feel like it has like hints of green in there. I'm crazy. 
I'm crazy because it looks so blue on my arm. And then that burnt orange redder shade and here's the leftovers of the pigment. Get off my hands. Yeah. Alright you guys, so let me know if you enjoyed the Jaclyn Hill palette. Did you get your hands on it? Are you waiting for the restock? Y'all let me know down below. Y'all let me know if y'all love this palette or not because I love it. I still love it even though that yellow tried me. That yellow tried me. It's not yellow. It's not yellow at all. It's not even mustard. It's like a brownish. You know, I won't even get started. Won't do it. But anyways, you guys let me know how the look came out. I'll see you guys in another video. You're going to see this same everything because I'm filming another video right now. Bye. <laughs>